and Hurley are still on the forward line. Okay, well, we'll know the answer soon enough, Rob. Third quarter underway. Hawks by 22. Chance for McVeigh. Gains about five metres. Oh. Saw hit hard by Lloyd. And Saul is out. And they're they're going to be angry. Oh, here we go. They are going to be angry, the Hawks. They are so angry. Hodge and Lloyd, Osborne coming over the top. And I tell you what, Matty Lloyd, you're the target. Um, you can't hit a bloke in the head. We found out last week with uh, Buddy Franklin. Well, this is this seems uh, this seems far more serious. Saul has not moved. Stretch has been called for. Umpire's got to stop play, surely. Stop the game, Stretch umpire. The play up to yourself. This is a very serious injury. He's not moved, Saul. And Matthew Lloyd is in a lot of trouble as Campbell Brown's caught late. I tell you what, Matthew Lloyd will be lucky to get through this game the way the Hawks are looking at the moment. Campbell Brown really got the staggers two quarters. He is really struggling to start his well, feet. Well, someone's whacked him in the head. Well, Brad Sewell's the worry. And he's as tough as they come, Brad Sewell. Eyes for the footy. And he's been cleaned up by Matthew Lloyd. Oh, and look at Campbell Brown has pointed to the Essendon box. He's come off with blood over his face. He's pointed to the Essendon box. Mark, how did you see, uh, hear what he said? Uh, just gave them a massive spray. That's not on, that's not on, that's not on, is what Campbell Brown's saying. Absolutely spraying everyone from Essendon. Real feeling out there, quarters. Well, what there is. I'll what they've what. got to do, Hawthorne, as upset as they are, and here we look at it here. Well. I would say that's contact to the head. Well, well I don't just know. I mean, maybe it was Paddy Ryder. Right yeah, have, have a look at his head go. Oh, no, no, it was Lloyd. Yeah, no, that it was is definitely contact Lloyd. to the head. No, and it was definitely the Lloyd contact that got him. Well, you saw what oh, happened last geez. week. And there's Campbell Brown with blood streaming out, obviously, and had to go to the Essendon box and said, boys, get set for a big one hour coming up. But the problem for Hawthorne is that Sewell is one of their spiritual leaders. He's played really well in that first half, 11 disposals, a lot of clearances where they were dominating. So he'll be sorely missed. They've got two players short now in, the, uh, in this modern age of interchanges. And you can see the hit. Yeah, it was definitely like the Lloyd contact. Looks like he's got him on the chin. Well, that didn't help, did it? He was out and then his head hit the ground as well. He ricochets, his head ricochets into the right shoulder and then his head hits the ground as well. He was, out, be he was out before oh, he hit the I, ground. I agree, Rob. Now, the big question here, Malcolm and Rob, is that it's going to be the team that keeps its eye on the ball because the next five minutes are going to be pretty hairy. You're right, and I reckon the other thing is the Hawks are two players down. Matthew Knights has to rotate and run. He's 22 against... Hawthorne's 20. He's got to make more moves than were made in the first half. He can't afford to keep a slow forward line with Lloyd, Hurley and Nagel. And uh, yeah, it's a real challenge now to both teams to see how they stand up after this. Rob, uh, I mean, it, yeah, it wasn't a good one. There's no doubt about that. Uh, intentional or not, it happened. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Lloyd, bombers behind. Just trying to decide whether he plays again. Could could this be it for Matthew Lloyd? Oh, it's, it's a tough call. Uh, I reckon Matthew Lloyd is unsure of his place at Essendon anyway. He hasn't been played where he would like to play, which is full forward, where he should play. I reckon the Hawthorne supporters will be absolutely incensed by what's happened there. Just hearing them behind me, Wolsey, incensed is one word. I can't tell you what they're saying, but the Essendon boys running past on the bench are getting an absolute spray, and uh, Adam Ravnaskill is actually having a bit of a chuckle. They are really copying it. <laughs> he doesn't have to go out there. But we, we don't want that in the game. No, we don't. We don't. I said when they bounced the ball to start this third quarter, the Essendon players would be wound up. Well, and I reckon they wound up all right. And the umpires, it is really important that the umpires get control of this game now. We have got one hot game of footy. Hold on to your hats. Ryder wins it down. Oh, gee, Fletcher came through hard and took out Hodge. Yeah. Hodge comes in and takes down McVay. And it's on again. Tell you what, umpire McLaren just got to get on with it, and he does. He just throws the ball up. One by Ryder. Chance for Kennedy. 
Mitchell. McVay dealt with off the ball. McGlynn. Again, backwards to Mitchell. And good disposal by the skipper. 